In the early hours of the morning aging porn star, Stormy Daniels was arrested at the Siren Strip Club in Columbus, Ohio. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was charged with S.Y. touching multiple undercover officers during the course of her performance. Daniels made headlines earlier this year due to her claims of a prior sexual relationship with President Donald Trump back in 2006 when the president was still a private citizen. Daniels' performance at Sirens was to be the latest stop on an ongoing tour that garnered widespread attention due to her claims, though President Trump denies they were ever involved in any way. She is trying to free herself from a non-disclosure agreement signed before the election and suing over an alleged defamatory tweet by President Trump earlier this year. Columbus Police State Daniels' arrest was part of a long-term probe of human trafficking, prostitution, as well as various and sundry other vice crimes up to and including narcotics local adult hotspots. According to police, this probe has been ongoing for more than a year since they learned of large-scale illegal activity taking place in the city of various adult clubs, including sirens. Last fall, according to the arrest report, Daniels began dancing on stage at approximately 11.30 p.m. on Wednesday evening. During the course of her performance, police officers present in the club state they witnesses Daniels using her bare breast to smack various patrons of the club. Officers also state they witnessed Daniels fondle the bare breasts of other female patrons of the club. The arrest report also describes events that took place as officers approached the stage stating Daniels forced the face of a female officer between her bare breasts, as well as doing the same or similar to a male police officer. She also openly fondled the breasts and buttocks of another officer present in the club. Court documents detail how at that point a fourth officer present in the club for Daniels' antics then exited the club to call for assistance in order to arrest Daniels. Directly following the arrest, Daniels' attorney Michael Avinati took to Twitter for damage control proclaiming Daniels to be the victim. He stated, just RCVD word that my client at Stormy Daniels was arrested in Columbus, Ohio whole performing the same act she has performed across the nation at nearly a hundred strip clubs, adding this was a setup and politically motivated. In a second consecutive tweet, Ovinati claims Daniels was arrested for allowing a customer to touch her while on stage in a non-sexual manner indirect contradiction to the arrest report in the testimony of the police officers involved. Ovinati states he is highly skeptical of the police account claiming the intent of the undercover officers did not appear to be to look for victims of human trafficking or prostitutes. Meanwhile, Ovinati claims in direct contradiction to his previous statements that Daniels allowed a customer to touch her in a non-sexual manner he claimed he was told the officers approached Daniels during her performance at the club and asked her if they could put their faces between her breasts. Police also arrested two other women along with Daniels identified as Miranda Panda of Marion, Ohio, and Brittany Walters of Pickerington in suburban Columbus. Hours after her arrest, Daniels was released on $6,000 bond after being booked on three counts of illegal SY-oriented activity in a SY-oriented business. A 2007 Ohio law known as the Community Defense Act prohibits anyone who is not a family member to touch a nude or semi-nude dancer. Specifically, the act prohibits an employee who regularly appears nude or semi-nude on the premises of a SY-oriented business, while on the premises and while nude or semi-nude from knowingly touching a patron who is not a member of the employee's immediate family, or allowing a patron who is not a member of the employee's immediate family or another employee who is not a member of the employee's immediate family to touch the employee or employee's clothing. Dispatch reports that some touches face more serious penalties, including touching a dancer's genitals, buttocks or the female breast below a point immediately above the top of the areola is a first-degree misdemeanor punishable by up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. A second offense is a fourth-degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to 30 days in jail and a $250 fine. Police claim they have made numerous arrests under this law regarding illegal SY-oriented activity in a SY-oriented business, though they did not provide a number of arrests for comparison. However, 
The dispatch reported in September of 2017 that the law is seldom used. Despite being on the books for more than a decade, a spokesman from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office in Columbus states they had no recorded instances of it ever being cited. Ovinati stated his intentions of entering a not guilty plea for Daniels on Thursday. As a result, she will not have to appear for an arraignment scheduled in court Friday.